Hello and welcome to ITM. In this video, I'm going to talk about the error that says you cannot shrink a volume beyond the point where any unmovable files are located. Now, you get this error when you are shrinking the volume and I have already created a video based on this topic to find out what are those system files and how to disable those features so that you can shrink the volume. Now, still time to time, I keep on getting the questions about different types of files that how can you shrink, how can you delete those files and how to shrink them. But uh, there is no ultimate solution from Microsoft. So I'll be using some different third party solutions. You can use any freely available disk partitioning software to shrink it. And uh, let's get started and I'll show you how to shrink that. Partition. Okay, so on my desktop, and you can see that when I did the fresh installation, my hard drive was something like this. You can see over here, I had some page files sitting over here, and then we have some uh, other Microsoft file that cannot be moved. So what I did is I disabled this feature, and then I moved on to, I created some other extra files, and then I enabled those features. So currently the situation is that if I go to my defrag, this is the tool I'm using for defragmentation, and I have the files all over my hard drive, and then I have some page files sitting. When I click on them, it shows the details that which file it is. It's a page file. And then at the end of the hard drive, I have got some system restore points. They are sitting in C drive uh, system volume information. So what I'll be doing is I will be disabling those files that are sitting over here. Um, they are sitting in my documents. These are the three files that I created. And now if I go to defragler and I analyze again, I can see that my whole hard drive is empty and I have some system files sitting over here. Now, the way to move this is that if you are using some kind of defragmentation utility, uh, defragmentation utilities cannot move these files, so you need to have defragmentation utility running during the boot time. So defragler is that tool that can do that thing for you. So I can go to system, uh, boot time, defragmentation, I can say run once. And next time when I boot the machine, these files could be moved to the, uh, to the beginning of the hard drive and you'll be able to shrink it. And if you don't want to use this defragmentation utility, you can use other system tools for shrinking the volume. So I'll show you currently what is the state when I go to right click and I go to disk management and try to shrink it. So you can see as of now I have around 31 gigs of free space. If I right click and I say I want to shrink the volume, as it says you can shrink by roughly around 7 gigs only. So this now I'll be using a utility. You can use any third party utility. I'll be using mini tool partition wizard. I click on OK. Now, one thing I want to mention over here is that before you use this utility, just please take the backup of your uh, hard drive. You can do uh, whatever documents you need to have, take the backup of them, or you can take the entire hard drive backup because uh, you might lose the data, whatever you have, in case anything goes wrong. And if any restarts are pending, just do restarts, whatever updates are installed, just uh, finalize those updates and then uh, do this stuff. So I go to partitioning wizard. And from here, you can see that I have this C drive. I can right click from here and I can say I want to move and resize. And then I can use the splitter to move on the left, whatever space you want to have. So. I'll be finally getting 31 gigs of uh, un uh, unallocated space after this. I just go ahead and click on OK and I click on Apply and click on Yes. I'm not saying that you need to restart for applying those changes. So I say go ahead and restart. And now once your machine restarted, I'm doing this thing in virtual environment, same way it will be going for, uh, uh, you can do this thing on the physical machines also. So you can see that partitioning has started. And it will be moving all those page files in the beginning of the hard drive. So it's resizing the partition. So it's going to take some time and I'll be back once this is done. Okay, so it got finished. It took roughly two minutes for you. It may be less or more. And once I 
get the operating system up and running, I'll be going to defragmentation. I'll be going on to um, disk management utility to create the partition. Okay, so I'm back and now you can use uh, mini tool, the partitioning tool, or you can go to disk management and create the volume. So you can see this is 31 gigs of unallocated space. I can just go on next, 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 and the volume is created. So this is how you can fix that error that says you cannot move the mobile files uh, for shrinking um, the hard drive. So hope you like this video. If you have any other questions or comments, please post in the comment section below and uh, post whether this convert this uh, video helped you or you had any problem while shrinking the volume. So see you in the next video.